Back to the conversation of me, I want to be a mogul. I'm going to honestly tell you guys why I want to become a mogul. Simply because, as a comedian, it's not what's expected. You know, I'm just supposed to tell jokes. And after telling jokes, I'm supposed to say, man, that was great. Look how many jokes I told. How dope is that? Oh, man, he was one of the funniest people ever. But if I can be one of the funniest people ever, and if I can somehow break into being one of the biggest actors ever, then after that, if I could somehow break into being one of the biggest producers, writers, directors, then after that, if I can break into becoming a, a major businessman, from owning my own network and that network really becoming a successful thing, a successful platform, these are all things that weren't expected. So if you can do the unexpected, people have to look at you differently because you're now a groundbreaker. This world doesn't have enough groundbreakers. Groundbreakers are people that aren't comfortable with the normal, that aren't comfortable with what's supposed to be. I'm not a person that's comfortable with what's supposed to be. Don't tell me what's supposed to be. I like to know what can be after that. What else? I'm a what else guy. Okay, yeah, I get that, but what else? That's the kind of mindset that I have. That's why I simply want, I want so much because I'm not, I'm not content with just one level of great. There's so many different levels, man. And what bugs me the most is when I see other great people and I see people that are around those great people that aren't inspired by those people's greatness. I can't do that. When I see great shit, I gotta talk to you about it because I wanna know how you did it. How did you do it? I want some gems, I want some information. So you guys that are now watching this live, if nothing else, take this information. It's free information, it's free motivation and inspiration. Take it, apply that shit to your life. Make this information set a light of fire under your ass so you can go out and do other stuff. Don't be content with one level of great. You know how many levels of great of this? Does anybody know? Do you guys know how many levels of great of this? You know why you don't know? Because there aren't any. It's endless. That's how much great is out there. It's fucking endless. That's like me writing this book here and saying, man, I did it. Number one on the New York Times bestsellers list. I'm done. How many people have been number one on the New York Times bestsellers list seven, eight times? It's probably a lot. It's probably a lot. But those people get content with the one accomplishment of being number one one time. Or did those people come back and say, I want to write a better book now? Wow, people actually read my story. People love my story. I want to tell other stories. I got a lot of shit to tell. You know how many stories I got? I can tell you by the time I shitted on myself. This is actually, this couldn't go in the book. This is a true story. I was 32 years old. When you shit on yourself at that age, it's a problem. We don't need to get into that. But I was just, I was setting an example of, of the stories that I could tell, okay? But I'm not, I'm not gonna dig into that, but it was tough. You know, I, have, I got to the door, you know when you got your key out? For some reason, whenever you pull your key out, when you gotta go to the bathroom, that's when shit really hit the fan. And that's when all of a sudden you gotta go and it gets urgent. I, I had to go, but I felt like I could get in the house and get it, and I pulled that key out the door, boop, boop, boop. That, that shit came down, yeah. Never told my lady, I tell you that. I threw them drawers away. Yeah, all that shit, none of that made it in the house. I can't make that up. Hence the title of my book. I'm full of these type of things. Full of these type of things.